you know, and they're going to call you a thief? I don't think so. That's why I tell you to go back and listen to my stuff in order and come up and catch up in the order that I give it. And do not be afraid to call me. I don't care what time it is. You can call me anytime. Two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Now, you know, when I first got, you know, back in the day, I, you know, went off on one, somebody once because I forgot about the time and then I said you can call me anytime. But when I don't want to be bothered, my ringers are turned off. The phones are turned off. Vibrators even turned off. If I answer the phone, even if I was asleep, I will talk to you. I will talk to you. So you can call. Don't go. I wonder, you know, I don't know what time it is where she is. It might be 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Usually at 2 or 3, but usually I don't go to sleep until the sun is coming up. I usually stay up all night long because, <laughs> in my opinion, so-called black people have been asleep too long. We're asleep now, walking, asleep, unaware, unawake, unconscious. I don't have time to keep sleeping. You know, so I'll go out in the sunlight at the crack of dawn when the sun is coming up, not every day, but on occasion, and draw down some vitality molecules. Then I'll come back in and pass out, uh, and I may be down for two hours um, at the crack of dawn. But uh, don't worry about it being too late. If it's too late or if I don't want to be bothered, I won't hear the phone ring because the ringers will be turned off. Hey, how, you know, haven't I talked to you late before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we you talk know, well so, into the night. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't be reluctant to call because people go, you actually answered the phone. You actually called my back. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like a, I'm just a regular person. You know, don't try to glorify me, glorify me or elevate me on some pedestal. Just because I read faster than other people and comprehend stuff faster doesn't make me better. I'm not any better than you, just like these people that think they're white aren't better than you either. And they can think so if they want to, but they're not. You are who you think you are and who you say you are. I am just an individual like you with two arms, two hands, a brain, some eyes, and, you know, I will talk to you. Um, you know, it's like, dang, you're just so cool. You're just so down to earth. Yeah, I'm just a regular person. Not only am I down to earth. I can flip in the hood rent mode real quick. You know, I try not to have my listeners hear it, but anyway, I think it's time up on the show. Um, I don't know um, what's going on with the with the with the uh, individuals that are supposed to shut it off. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep talking until it shuts off. I cannot take any questions, comments, or calls because I'm not on the switchboard on the computer, um, uh, it's after the end of the show time, so who's handling it? I don't think they're there um, to even put the music on for us because, again, there was an emergency. And I can't take calls. I can't see the chat room. I'm sorry to say there's not a lot I can do, so we're kind of in dead space. And I, I've been told that the show can go over an hour, and I kind of want to make up for the time that was lost. By the way, we lost a brother. Um, he's no longer on the call. But uh, I'd like to make up for some of this lost time, but I don't know if I can do it. Let me look and see if I can see the chat room. I don't know if I can or not. Uh, oh, shoot. It's saying there are 26 minutes and 43 seconds remaining in this show. It's actually coming up. So let me see if I can look at the chat room and see if I can see a question uh, absolve me for the technical difficulties we've been experiencing lately, but we're going to have to find something else to do. It's 25 minutes remaining. I'm trying to, um, I know we're over time, but I guess blog talk is making up for the time that was lost. I have not a clue. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can get down to, if there is even a chat room showing on my screen. Nope. Oh, I can't see anything, anybody. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can answer a question. I'm trying to think what I can cover for you guys. Um, you might, I'm sure there was something else that I wanted to give you guys. Let me see what I can find here. Uh, 
Okay. I already gave you guys the science of getting, what I call the science of getting over it. <clears throat> oh, here's something I can give you guys for the, the remainder of this time. Everybody's wondering why there's so much going on with all the vampire shows. What's with all the vampire shows and all the vampire movies? Where are they going with that concept? Never mind the fact that we know they misunderstand what sacrifice means. They misunderstand what blood means. So we can uh, see that they're lost already. They're just lost in the sauce for real. People are stuck on low-level resonance and stuck on stupid. Now, just so you know, vowels are removable and interchangeable. The word vampire is spelled V-A-M-P-I-R-E. It's also spelled V-A-M-P-Y-R-E, because remember, I, Y, J, and H are the same letter, technically. But vampire and vampire, spelled V-A-M-P-E-R, are technically the same word. Now, they're given, and again, I don't know if this is incidental because of, for lack of comprehension, or if the stuff is deliberate with full malice, intent, and forethought. But vampire, you know, again, these vampires are attempting to cause everyone to err by partaking in rampant uh, mactation, which is killing people and shedding uh, red blood. That's not what you're supposed to be doing unless you're stuck on stupid, and I'm trying to get my people unstuck and definitely off of stupid. Vampire is defined as one who pieces an old thing together with something new, one who concocts or invents. So you have people that have taken old and ancient science as vampires, or vampires, and they have piecemealed that stuff that was ancient and true with new shit, like Lady Maat would say, if it's new, it's not true. If it's true, it's not new. So they take ancient truth, um, uh, concoct it, and compile it together with some new madness or new insanity on some we're superior to everybody uh, mindset, and everybody needs to be killed off because they're a bunch of useless eaters. The people that are calling everyone else useless eaters, they are useless eaters. There is no shortage of anything in the world, no shortage of food, no shortage of gas, no shortage of oil. There is no shortage. Mother Earth, nature, and meta netter is most abundant in all things. There is more than enough of every single thing required for every single one required on this planet. The reason there are or appear to be these so-called shortages is because you have people that are ridiculously stuck on stupid uh, because they're not sane, because they're incested out in the whole nine yards, and those individuals are hoarding. They are hoarders. They've come along to other people's homes or other people's countries on other people's land masses and said, oh, we own all of this. All, this whole diamond mine is ours. All, this, all these orange trees belong to us. All these pumpkin patches belong to us. We own all the rubber trees, and if you want any, you have to come through us, and you have to pay us, and we have a shortage. And they will go so far as to take, have uh, farmers burn whole crops. They will take whole supplies of food and dump it into the ocean just to manipulate and control the price of a thing to say there's a shortage of a thing so they can manipulate the stock market and play games with people's lives, being vampires and vampers on some whole other nonsense. And they're causing people to die and causing people to suffer when there's no reason for it because there's no shortage of anything. Everything is in abundance except for the fact that you have a bunch of inbred, bloodthirsty, greedy, hoarding, control freak, incested out, cannibal-ass, bloodthirsty bastards that want to starve and kill everybody else and make the rest of us suffer so they can sit on their asses and be stupid and call the rest of us lazy and poor. Well, the world's people are poor because the useless eaters have usurped and stolen everything. They've done what you call a Jacob move, a, what Lady Ma'at and I call a Jacobian move, 
or a Yakubian move. The word Jacob, talking about Jacob out of the Bible, Jacob means supplanter. A supplanter is a usurper. A, a usurper is someone that takes something that isn't theirs and claims it as their own and takes someone's place and claims to be the someone that they replaced. Like they come over here and said, oh, we're the Americans and everybody else is from Africa and everywhere else. So if you comprehend uh, the concept and the clarity of these words and understand what shed means, what blood shed means, you don't have to do sacrifices and make things damnable and cursed, which is what sacred and holy means. The word holy is sacred. The word sacred is holy. And both of those words mean cursed and damnable. Altar is not what you think. So comprehend what shed blood means and know the difference between shed blood and shed blood by way of sacrifice. Big difference. And these vampires or vampers are concocting things and piecing things up and creating some new stuff that's not true out of ancient stuff under some patriarchal nonsense because the patriarch is out of his mind. Matriarchs are going to be concerned about everyone, especially the children. These people that are on the patriarchal mindset, they don't give a damn about children or anyone else. It is in the male nature, and, you know, no disrespect, brothers, because I know there are some of you that are not on it, but it is in the male nature to secure the male first. It is in the, is it in the, is in the mother nature to secure the children first. The, the children, the husband, then herself. The husband secures himself first, then the children and the wife. And I don't even know if it's in that order because that's kind of the nature of a hunter. When you go out and hunt, you can't have everybody's back. You've got to have your own back first. If you secure yourself, then you see who else you can cover while you're at it. That's maleness. That's testosterone. Femaleness, uh, matriarchal, the, the fluid of water is about securing everyone and then me. That's how it goes. So if we don't get clear on some of these concepts, we are going to be stuck in what I call the control freak of patriarchy versus the right use of will or the own use of will of matriarchy, uh, the so-called white power of patriarchy versus the so-called black power of, pat of matriarchy, and one is about, oh, you're going to do what we say, or we're going to kill you. That's that so-called white power matriarchy control freak agenda versus the so-called Black power, man, I ain't bothering you. Don't bother me. Just leave me alone. You, know, you do you. I'll do me. Plenty of room around here for everybody. Uh, you know, I'm just functioning my own right use of will. That is the melanin richness of matriarchy, what they call so-called black power with the, versus so-called white power. Now, you figure it out. And, you know, black and white isn't what you think either, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just using a, a, a concept of what people think a thing is. So remember what I'm saying. Do the stuff in the order that I gave it, or don't do anything at all. Just listen, because I don't want you doing anything out of order and then screwing yourself and thinking it's me or blaming it on me. Uh, oh, I've also been asked, I've had a lot of people that say, Sister Yafa, you know, I want to I support you. I want to give you something. I want to donate something. And I've had a lot of people that have donated all, donated all types of things, uh, lots of different things, dictionaries, encyclopedias, uh, you know, pick a thing. I, I, I you know, Federal Reserve notes. Um, um, you know, I have, I have a couple of brothers that were trying to help me secure um, a working Apple Mac. Um, uh, one of them stepped back when I informed him that another one had acquired one for me. Um, but, you know, for those individuals that want to support me, I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, what I did, and I'm probably going to put it on the website, because people have told me, you know, there are people that don't want to tell you who they are. They just want to do it anonymously. You need to make it available for people that want to help you from the, from the sidelines or from the background. So I created a...